liberty and justice is null. This I do declare and hold to be self-evidently true. Many of our parents risked everything they knew to pursue a better life, the American dream, bootstraps pulled up to climb purple mountains, majestying an opportunity for renewal like a mighty stream. But the dream they knew was really a nightmare asleep. Their descendants would be haunted with never-ending screams, rendered lifeless by a few in this soulless regime that sucks our souls for revenue, props us up for diversity, then turns around and bombs our loved ones to smithereens. They say they don't discriminate as they kill us indiscriminately blood streaming on our live streams our people on the menu and before we knew it we became part of what we thought we outgrew no amount of money status or class can erase this deja vu but a dream is not just something you look up to it is something you create and live up to reparations and justice are long overdue team dry quietly manufactured multiple genocides 40 babies weapons of mass destruction where else have they lied and when confronted their sheeps have blindfolds over their eyes chanting four more years red blue white are starting to all look alike we are here for palestine but that's not the only reason we cry our tax dollars hard at work keeping drones in our people's skies but when we say we are complicit we must also confront the dictators inside no matter how high up the ladder we've climbed, the shiny cars, the shoes, the fancy homes we buy, a child back home works for a few pennies to scrape by, workers mistreated for the sake of our Amazon primes, someone somewhere profits no matter how much we deny. Change is a verb, it must start from our own crimes, demand to end this endless supply, undoing this harm is enough work for a lifetime, America the beautiful, an empire built on ugly lies, don't let them slide. Fearlessly confront those attempting to quell this rising tide like a people on the brink of revolutionary suicide. Take pride in our power, but let not powers divide us. One day our hands will no doubt testify. Do you see how it's all connected? So we must pick a side and form a more perfect union. No time to run and hide. So. So are you awake now? Do you see how high the stakes are? How are we all showing up to take fascism down? It will take all of us, the fathers, the mothers, the youth, the elders, the shakers, the fighters, the movers, peacemakers. Let's make a vow to remake a world where our children won't drown, to break the walls, and not just the ones we see, but the ones that overtake us without making a sound. Look around at how lucky we are to be with each other right now. United for Palestine, the time is now. Let the world quake, for liberation is not just a promise, it's a countdown. Because he will not change a people unless they change their own. Let this protest not be your one free throw. There are more than a million ways to rise up and show liberation is a myth. Though we keep saying no to genocide, Joe, we can't even agree on how we will all vote. The only thing we have to give up is the status quo. The prophet once said, whoever among you sees evil, let him change it with his hand. If he cannot do so, then with his tongue. If he cannot do so, then with his heart, even if it is the lowest of the low. So whatever you do, just know, blood may be thicker than water, but our hands linked together prevent both from flowing. The time for apartheid's over. Go protest, rally, stop the bulldozers, the bombs, the ships, war crime cash flow. Write the resolutions, the petitions, the poems. Show up to city council, but also your prayer rugs back home. We won't win this without God's mercy bestowed. Only then can we live in a world worthy of being called home. Thank you. Entire population of the Austin Metro. A little more than a week ago, the International Court of Justice, the World Court, adopted provisional measures or binding orders that include requirements requiring Israel to prevent genocide against Palestinians in Gaza, to enable the provision of essential services and humanitarian assistance, and to prevent and punish incitement to commit genocide. Since then, the U.S. has continued to supply Israel with weapons, and Israel has continued its unjustifiable mass slaughter. That understand at the very essence of, of Zionism is hypocrisy to use what happened to your people and now do it to another group of people.
because it's morally right and because we suffer due to the same power structures and the same lies. A ceasefire will happen. It's an inevitability at this point, and this bloody regime will eventually crumble. But those are just the opening moves of this long campaign. We won't stop talking about Palestine. We won't stop demonstrating or boycotting. We're not going away. The past, the past four months have changed everybody irrevocably. It's just a part of life now. They've already lost. They just don't know it yet. Thanks for your time. Defund Israel. Ceasefire now. Get it over with. Free Palestine. As you can see, people are coming today, so that's definitely a good sign in terms of the numbers here. Capital. Free, free Palestine! 